This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS principles course. I'm on unit three, intro to programming, lesson five, creating functions, part nine. All right, do this. We are going to continue to build up towards the diamond by defining a function that draws one side of the diamond. If you look at the whole image we are trying, we are trying to draw, you'll notice that each of the four sides is comprised of three calls to draw a step. If you're confused right now, what do they mean draw a step? What's that? You should go back and do part eight. If you're just clicking finish on these to get through them because you hope your teacher wouldn't notice, you should go back and do part eight because this part of the lesson, you need part eight, nine, and ten all together. Otherwise, none of it works. So make sure you do part eight. If you're stuck on part eight, um, my video on it, well, it should help. So, all right, back to this. Notice that each of the four sides is comprised of three calls to the draw step, which we made in part eight, plus a few extra moves shown in orange. Uh-huh. So, yep, our function for draw step will be doing this, and then these extra moves is what they're talking about. So far, so good. Right now, we'll write the code for one of those sides. So, define a new function named draw side. And that, again, that's just making the function. Don't let the technical word jargon scare you. Which makes three calls in a row. A call is making a function run, again. So define means create the function. Call it means, hey, run that chunk of code. And we can run it again and again using a function. So, all right. Define a new function draw side, which makes three calls in a row to draw a step followed by a move forward and move right, which makes sense. So if we call a function draw step, which we created in the last segment, part eight, we would go once, twice, three times, if we call it three times, forward and then right. And so that would create this portion of our uh, diamond thing, I guess. Thing's the technical term. Um, replace the original function call to draw step with a call to your newly defined draw side. So this one, that's our function call where we're asking the computer to run that code or the internets, I guess. Uh, draw side function. The diagram below shows the intended action. Okay, so this was our original and then this is what, yep, all right. So let's go back to the top and tackle this one step at a time. So it should do what we created in step eight. So let's just make sure my step is still working. Excellent. And it's doing that because we're calling this draw step function, which we created in part eight. So first off, we need to define a function called draw side. So to do that in our toolbox, you want to go click on this functions. And I'm just going to drag this on over. I'm going to drag it towards the top so I can see it better. Um, and you don't have to do this. I'm going to put a space just to kind of make it clear what codes what. That's not necessary for you, though. Okay, and then what do they want us? A new function named draw side right here. Okay, draw side. Make sure you don't put the parentheses, right? I often do this on accident because you do need parentheses, so you'd be technically right. But code.org, while we're learning, actually adds them automatically. So if you go over to the text, See how they're already there, right? So if I were to add them in my block, it adds them twice. So make sure you don't add those. All right, followed by a function. So first we need three draw step calls, okay? So my function, my function, my function. And again, this is just, we're just gonna ask the computer, hey, draw, use the my step thing we made. And in my step, if we go look at that code, what we put in that function, that chunk of code here is what, and this was in part eight of lesson five, pin down, move forward, turn left, move forward, go right. If you ended this with a pin up, um, which could work, oh, it will still run for this. You'll just, here, I'll show you what I mean in a sec. All right, so, and then uh, this yellow isn't scary yet. It's saying, hey, you haven't called draw side. So we're actually going to, calm down computer, put it up here because now we don't need to call draw step we're going to call draw side and that looks correct what's this i'm wondering about oh my draw yep we went draw step OK, 
Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Perfect. So far, so good. And then finally, as instructed, we need to move forward. So back in turtle, move forward and go right. Oh, that's going to be another function, function call, right. Okay. I'm going to speed this up. Perfect. That's what they're looking for. Something that I messed up and a few of my students have too. Um, if you at the end of your draw step function did pin up, which makes sense, you're like, well, I'm done drawing the step, lift the pin. I want to show you what will happen here. It doesn't draw that final step because we lifted the pin. So we would have to say pin down again in our draw side. What I would actually do though is get rid of this pin up because we will need to tell the computer to take up the pin, but we're not going to do that until the entire shape is complete. So we did this, the diagram below, um, and let's just double check that ours is working. Perfect. Great. Let's uh, keep well, here, just to double check, that's the code that was working for me, right? And let's, um, yep, let's go ahead and keep going. 